Welcome to the Beatrix 24 document collaboration webinar. My name is Vlad Kowalski. I do the international marketing for US and Canada here at Beatrix 24. Uh, today we're going to have a quick webinar for you guys. Um, and if you do like the content, please leave a like, leave a comment if you do want to see more of this or if you do want to see information um, that you do not know too much about. So let's get into it, guys. Collaboration, I think, right now is is a great subject for this webinar because people are now more than ever working remotely because of COVID and whatnot. So, what does that mean? Well, it means you need a place, you need one place, one ecosystem where you can store all your information, all your data, um, all your documents. Right? I think now everybody kind of realized that it's so much more difficult to collaborate on certain documents and certain projects when you're not so close together. So I think Beatrix 24 bridges that gap um, very nicely and gives you one place, one ecosystem um, where you can simply share all your information with your colleagues and with your team members and with your company. And today we're actually going to take a look at how we physically do that in Beatrix 24. So let's go ahead and start. So when we do uh, start with our Beatrix 24 profile, we do here see this is the same profile that um, I have been working on since our first webinar. And these webinars, um, like we said previously, are going to be short, they're going to be easy to understand, and they're going to get right to the point. Um, so if you don't see the Beatrix 24 disc right off bat, don't worry. As we've um, mentioned in previous webinars, you can go ahead and configure the main primary uh, tool in which you're working with. Um, today for us, we're going to do the CRM system, and then I'll show you where the Beatrix 24 disk is located um, in that layout. So let's confirm that and go ahead and load that up. Once your Beatrix 24 is loaded up there, we will see here in the more drop down menu, we do see the Beatrix 24 drive right here. So we go ahead and click on that. Um, and right away we see this is what the Beatrix 24 disk actually looks like inside your Beatrix 24 um, ecosystem. So right away, we do see the My Drive option and the Company Drive. And what does that mean? So the My Drive um, is going to do exactly what it sounds like. It's going to store your information. Um, on default, this setting is going to be accessible only to you. So when we do look at the access permissions, we can see here that the only user is going to be me. You can go on and change that. We'll cover that a little bit later. So we understand the My Drive is going to be information just for me, but we then do see the layout here um, has a couple of different folders inside of it. And that's going to cover your uploaded files, stored files, which is just kind of give you um, a little bit better version and a little bit more needier workspace to work with. And our external groups for when you want to work with your freelancers, maybe give some external users access to this, which you can do so as well. Um, and some public groups along with those workers that you can divide up into um, have some hidden groups and private groups that of course you do have in your Beatrix 24 CRM system already. Um, when we do talk about documentation collaboration here, um, again, I think remotely everybody kind of has noticed that it's easy to send an email with a document, but it's so much more difficult to work on that document in one place or even just store all that information that you're just trying to um, get across to your colleagues, right? And I, as like I said previously, Beatrix24 bridging that gap, remember, this is at a price point which is 100% free. And right now, because we did take the limitations off of our free plan, you don't have a user limit. So you can basically migrate your whole business or company to the Beatrix24 ecosystem and fully start collaborating, sharing documents um, as well. Now moving along to our company drive, what do we see here? When, when you look at the company drive, we must understand this is gonna be information for everybody to view. Everybody can go in, maybe access the information, go in, edit the information, make the information um, much more up to date, whatever it might be. And how do we do that? Well, of course, when we do look in the settings and the access permissions, off the default settings, we do see everything is accessible by our whole company. We can split that up, as I said previously, in different categories, such as the department heads, uh, maybe it's just individual workers can get access to it. Great, you can work on whatever um, you know uh, division method that you have. You can implement that um, 
with your Beatrix 24 disc as well. Another important thing here is you know what they can actually do the permission accesses that they have and when you click on that that's when you can actually change maybe they can just read the document whether it be you know an onboarding thing or just cleaning a coffee machine um if you just want it to be straight readable of course give them access permissions for that and you can have different departments different employees have different access permissions as well um which you know which is fantastic now one thing we must know as well you can also change um who views this as i said previously based on how you divide your company and that's when we see the department heads and uh users of course here we do have the other groups and the groups is how you can actually invite your external users so if you do have a user that you do work with on freelance project it is an external user in that group you can just fully invite all those people in that group and select what they can do in the document itself so let's here in our company drive right now just upload a simple file and the different files we can upload varies um, from anything on your own physical hard drive to something maybe you have in your Microsoft Office Online account, a Google document and an Office 365 doc. Um, and how does that work? Well, it's, it's fairly simple and it's very easy, especially if you're working with clients and, and people within your company that might not have the same operating system as you. So you can actually just send them the document if they have a, you know, a cloud login for Google or Microsoft Office, they can actually fully edit and view the document in the cloud without physically downloading it onto their hard drive um, and using the program, which they need be, it could just be fully on the cloud through that cloud system of Microsoft Office or Google Docs. And it doesn't stop there, of course, you know, you're not just limited to that cloud service, you can just fully physically download a file here, let's do just a um, Word file. And we see as that uploads, um, you can just select any file, picture, media, file, whatever it be on your hard drive, physically upload that here, close it, and we can go in into our access permissions and we see the default because we're in the company drive, everybody can do what? They can edit, nope, they can only go ahead and read that document. But let's do, uh, let's say we do just have it on edit uh, you can also enable extend permission control for individual files and folders, uh, which I do recommend if you are going to be sharing this and you do want different department heads having different access points. But when we do, uh, when we do have people who edit the document, uh, the one thing that's very important here, of course, is we see who modified it when they modify it. And of course, we do have a modification log where you see all that information. When you just click on that modified right away, we see uh, when it was modified. And when we click here, we can look at some of the details going on here. Uh, we see who actually uploaded it, the size last time it was modified, and then where it's gonna be used, maybe uh, somewhere within our CRM system, it will pop up and show you that as well. Um, then moving on, so if you do have a, you know, somebody within your Beatrix 24 ecosystem accessing all these files, of course, you won't have to worry about, you know, who changed this, who deleted it, who edited it, all that information is visible here for you to see. So let's slowly move on to our um, My Drive option. Um, and it's pretty self-explanatory. The My Drive will keep that information that you have just for you. And similar to your company drive, here in the access permissions, um, you can choose exactly person, maybe by person, again, by department, by whatever division method you use inside your company. And you can give them um, permission control for individual files and folders. On top of that, whatever the access uh, permission level you want, of course, will be made available as well. Now, this is just document collaboration. And the one thing I will, we get a lot of uh, questions with is, well, Beatrix 24 is free and 7 million users already use the best free CRM in the world. Um, you know, what's the catch? What are my limitations? Well, as you can guess, your limitations is going to be something on a Beatrix 24 disk. Uh, if you do have a whole bunch of information that you do want stored, that's, I think, where the price points will start changing for different companies. And you can see that in all of our price menus. And I think right now, um, you know, different promo codes and so on will give you different maybe uh, levels of 
gigabytes on your Beatrix 24 drive, so always keep a lookout with that on social media and different content, Beatrix 24 releases. Um, but it is also important to notice with your Beatrix 24 disc is another feature which I think gets highly overlooked, and that's the ability to not just give access to this information of people within your Beatrix 24 ecosystem, but you can give it to people who you are working with externally. And how do we do that? Well, we have a nice option in one of these folders or whatever file you have already uploaded in your drive. When you click on these, um, the option toolbar, you have the option of sharing and the share option has a public link and an internal link. So let's say right away, you need to share uh, the how to wash the coffee machine properly uh, with a new intern within your Beatrix 24 system, copy the internal link, send that over to them. They can go in and actually access and read that information. Um, on top of that, you can actually limit how long that information is going to be viewed for. So let's say you only want them to see that information for two hours. You can actually say, okay, this employee can only access, read only access level for two hours starting. Now uh, they get the internal code. They can only view that piece of information for a certain amount of time. And that of course applies for your public link as well. So those external groups that we have right here, uh, you can actually go ahead and share a public link to them and that's how they can actually see the physical document within your Beatrix 24 ecosystem. From there, they can go in and edit it um, and so on. Now, this is how you're gonna use the Beatrix 24 disk to collaborate uh, documents, work on things within your company and with different colleagues. Uh, also, on top of that, when you are in the Beatrix 24 ecosystem, I don't want you to overlook um, your activity stream, right? So this is going to be all the information going on in your company that you're always sharing with. And how I like to think of it, it's just a big timeline that we have going on. And what do I mean by that? I mean, just like any social media timeline that you have on Instagram, um, YouTube, Twitter, whatever it is, this is going to be all the news going on inside your company. So this here is a great tool of how you can actually just share quick information and have your colleagues all stay on one page. And of course, when we do start a new message, we have the option of right away of who we can send it to. So I like to think of that as just kind of like our access permissions. So if you do want to send it to maybe a certain department, you can do that or just a certain individual employee, you can do that as well. Um, on top of that, there's a kind of different options in which you can interact with your colleagues from tasks, events, polls, and so on. And you can just, like I said, send files, right? And of course, you can always send files through your work chats and through your groups that you have in your Beatrix 24 ecosystem as well. But this is just a quick way of to do it publicly and very quickly. Um, and I think it's a, it's a feature that gets highly overlooked at, especially with our clients who are just using the CRM option as they're only saying, oh, it's just sales we can just communicate you know, through um, different messages with each client, but I think it's much more easier to do on the activity stream and, and having a, just, a, a, just one place and one wall to, for you to write on and communicate on. So of course you can upload these um, different files uh, just like you did previously in your Beatrix 24 drive. And like I said, this is gonna be more of a social media newsfeed feed. So if it's just gonna be pictures, maybe just the cool vacation post, um, this is where you're gonna do. You're gonna, it's gonna be just a much more or less casual way of sharing that information and collaborating. And as soon as you do post a document on here, um, let's say we're just gonna upload an image, um, or let's say we're just gonna upload another Word doc here. Um, hello everyone. What do you think? All right. That's already uploaded to, it's gonna to go to all our employees or just like again, maybe just um, to one of our employees, you do have that option. And we're gonna go ahead and send. And then we're gonna take a look at our activity stream. We're gonna see how that looks. So we're gonna see that I did share a quick message with everybody and here's the document. Now what's beautiful about this document, um, other colleagues within the Beatrix 24 ecosystem can now go in, take that same document, edit it, upload it back, and then you guys are just communicating all under one post. So we understand that this communication webinar script can go ahead and get passed along to everybody. You can see who and when edited um, each 
document and when they did so. Uh, I think that's also very wonderful. And then here we can also see right away who already saw this and who's already editing the document. I think um, the activity stream as just a simple timeline is one of the best features in Beatrix 24. It gives you the most amount of tools, gives you the most amount of features to communicate, collaborate all in one physical space, especially if you can't do that right now with offices. And I think um, a lot of us are seeing that in our, in our countries, um, which we don't really know what's going on and how offices will work in the future and whether they will even be part of our future. But as far as the documentation and vocabulary methods we have in Beatrix 24, I think this is the best method um, you have for your company moving forward. And it is 100% free, guys. So make sure to take advantage of it. And if you do enjoy these webinars, let us know what you think. Drop a like. Um, go ahead and follow us on all our social media. We're always trying to communicate with our Beatrix 24 users. Um, so please, if you do have the Beatrix 24 system, Take a look at how you can collaborate your documents, how you can actually set up your documents and have them all in one place, all accessible to your colleagues and for you guys to not even skip a beat without being in the office. Thank you guys and have a wonderful day.